Hey, it's me, Kayvon, the world's most famous half Persian comedian, coming to Sacramento right now to do an event for Turning Point USA. Now, they didn't want us on the campus because, as you saw from Tommy Lauren's video, where the students, they're just trained activists now. They're not even going to school. They're not learning anything. They're paying $40,000 a year to be indoctrinated into leftist lunatics. And then they need a bailout from the taxpayer, a little debt relief. Well, anyways, so we're gonna do the show off campus, but still have a great time. So just say no to the radical left, say yes to Turning Point. Let's go see the show. What's your name, where are you from? My name is Patty Marty, and I am from Petaluma, California. You're with Turning Point what? USA High School. What? How old are you? I am 19 years old. This interview's over. All right, who are some hot young conservatives we all need to know about? Alex Clark is the bomb. She hosts the Spillover podcast and she has awesome guests. She interviews all these people and she even interviewed Alex Stein a few weeks ago. Primetime 99? Pimp on a blimp, baby. <laughs> Say your name, how you're involved with Turning Point. Okay, my name is Amber and I am the senior field representative for the Sierra Territory here in Northern California. And it's just so much fun to like express my free speech rights and just have a good time with comedy. My name is David Yamis. I'm born and raised in San Jose. Nice, and how'd you get involved with Point. Absolutely, through Amber the Sierra rep. I uh, started a chapter at my JC West Valley, then I went to San Jose State and started a chapter there as well. Cool, what's been your favorite event so far? It would have to be the Charlie event at Berkeley, the Educate Don't Mandate tour. Yep, I Educate love that. Don't Mandate, what's that? Oh uh, yeah, he was talking about vaccinations, right? In California, they were, they're big on, you know, mandating the vaccine, right? And Charlie was just talking about how that's not okay. I talk about that in my comedy, and people call me radical for saying not everybody needs the boosty boost. Oh, wow. You oh. can't even say the word the va va on YouTube. <laughs> oh, my bad. You can my say bad. boosty boost. Boosty boost. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> my bad. I'll refer to it as boosty boost from now on. Did you vote in the last election? No, I did not. I was not old enough. But who would you have voted for if you could have? Obviously Trump. What do you think about Biden saying you're a radical right-wing extremist terrorist because of your view? Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans represent an extremism that threatens the very foundations of our republic. Lock me up then, come at me. Boom. Nice. Okay, what was your favorite Biden moment so far? Black and poor kids are as smart as white kids. Oh, let's play that one. Play it. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. When you watch Biden, do you laugh or cry? A little bit of both. <laughs> I wish our gas prices would fall like the way he did. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. That's good. So what is your favorite Biden moment so far? Probably when he fell on the bike. The because, bike? Yeah, the bike. Because yeah, I didn't know if you were yeah. going to say the stairs or fell over his dog. <laughs> all the above, I guess. <laughs> you know he tripped over his dog? I, I'm not surprised. Because the big thing was Trump didn't have a dog, what a jerk. But Biden had two dogs. And now you don't see the dogs anymore. The you know dogs why? are gone. The dogs are gone. They're mean. They bite people. They moved to Delaware. My mom told me my dog went to Delaware when she was gone. Too. Those, do those dogs are dead. Biden has been so-called president for two years. What's your favorite Biden moment so far? Favorite? I mean, I can tell you my least favorite. Go ahead. But yeah, least favorite. I mean, obviously there's been his blunder in Afghanistan. That was terrible. But on a lighter note, you know, it's great. To, you know, it's funny to see, you know, him struggle to speak, you know, you know, something that you think you'd be able to do as president, but he has a little bit of a harder time. Maybe because of his, his stutter. I yeah, don't know. The but, new stutter that just yeah, started. The stutter that just started after, you know, decades. But now. He only stutters when he's lying. No, it's very true. And he always stutters. Yep. <laughs> and he always stutters. Amen. All right. Well, I will gladly and proudly announce our guest of the evening. He has over 400,000. <laughs> Comedy night. Oh, I'm, gonna ask, I'm gonna ask your favorite joke, so just make something up. You're on the spot. Okay, favorite joke? The pretzel joke. Oh, Joe Biden being pushed by Jesus. <laughs> McDonald's balls. <Yeah. laughs> Joe Biden impression. Oh, she took mine. I was gonna do like, the Joe Biden impression as well. Thank you, Turning Point USA. We did Woo! it out here in Sacramento. Memphis next. That's right.